What up folks, Alex here, and welcome to 5 Minute Friday. And in this video, I'm gonna do a blurred vision drunkenness style effect. Dead easy to do, takes two minutes in DaVinci Resolve and is actually really useful. Works well in vlogs if you're in a nightclub or you're out partying and that sort of thing for sort of music videos, or if you're trying to make a story driven thing and you want to imply that the main character has had a few too many, for example. And it looks a little something like this. So here we are folks in DaVinci Resolve and I've already got my timeline and everything set up here and we're going to use this clip. Now it's a clip of a party but it's quite clean, it doesn't look too dirty or grungy or like a music video so we're just going to jazz this up a little bit. So the first thing we need to do is just to create a second copy of this clip on the timeline. Now the easiest way to do that is just give it a click so it's highlighted, then holding the Alt key on your keyboard just drag up to create a duplicate above it. Now what we want to do is make sort of a ghosting effect by just mistiming this one. So it's either a few seconds before or a few seconds after. So all we're going to do, I'm just going to move these away from the end of my timeline here. We're going to select the clip on top and then just using the comma key on my keyboard, I'm just going to hit that a few times. So I'm going to go with three. One, two, three. Now you can move that as many or as few frames as you like, just experiment with it, find what works for you. Now as you can see here we've got this overlay, so we're just going to cut that, just bring that in, and then the same at this end just to make sure the clips are the same length, like so. Now if I just hit play, we're only going to see this top clip, because at the minute there's no sort of transparency to it, we're just going to see this one. So we just need to make it so that you can see both clips on the timeline. So with this top clip selected, Head up to the top right hand corner and select the inspector. And then under composite at the top, change the composite mode. Now again, you're free to experiment with this one. I'm just going to add add for this example. Now you may find that it becomes a little bit too bright, so you can just adjust the opacity if you need to. I'm going to go with about 50%. Now if we just hit play, you can see the double vision. You've got this faint sort of following overlay which is just out of time with the main clip and that's exactly what we want. So that looks pretty good as it is. Now if you want to add more drama, you can actually just do the same thing again. So we can add a third track, just move it over a little bit, we'll drag this in and we'll drag these in as well. And now we've got three layers that are all out of sync and that just exaggerates the effect even further. Now what I want to do is just to add some additional effects to really sell this look. So we're just going to go to the top left and open up the effects library. We're going to open up the toolbox. We're going to go down to effects and we're going to grab an adjustment clip. We're going to drop that just above all of our other video files. So I'm on video track four. We'll lengthen that out to be the same length. And then with the effects library still open, go down to open effects. And then from this list, again, experiment, find ones which work for you. A couple which I really like for this example. Scroll right down, we've got camera shake. So I'm just gonna drop that onto my adjustment clip. We've got flicker addition, so I'll shove that on there as well. And then lastly, I'm just gonna grab the vignette. Now at this point, if you highlight the adjustment clip, open up your inspector again and then go to open effects. You can adjust all the different settings of the camera shake, flicker edition and vignette. I've linked some videos down in the description below where I'll go into this in further detail. For this demonstration, I'm just gonna leave them as they are. Now if we just hit play, we've got a darkened edge, we've got a flickering light effect thanks to that flicker edition and we've got some additional camera shake. Now there's actually one additional thing you can do if you want to, which can really help sell it. Works really well if you're working to a beat with some music. Let's just find a point in here. We've got a beat there. So on the bottom track, on the original track, come to the point where you've got a beat or something you want to make it a slight change. We're just gonna do Control and B to add a cut. Just gonna make a small section here and do another cut. And then what we're gonna do, give that one a click so it's highlighted. Go to the top right hand corner and open up the inspector. And then we're just gonna zoom in. 
So we're going to zoom in and let's do a bit of a rotation as well. So then when it gets to that point, there's just that jump in and out to the beat. Do that as many times as you like throughout this video file and you can really help to just time it to the music. And that's it. Easy as that. I hope this was useful. If it was, thumbs up. Any thoughts, comments, feedback, pop them down below. And if you did enjoy this video and you want to see some more vlogs, tech videos, DaVinci Resolve tutorials, maybe a few more giveaways in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next week, if not before. Take it easy. Bye. Mm -hmm.